Hi guys, so I have another process video for you today and it's still pocket style scrapbooking like I do in my Project Life album however these photos are actually for my travel album which is the mint 12x12 album you can see underneath there um, I was at my boyfriend's house and we'd moved the coffee table out of the living room and um, I had nowhere to scrap so I was just sat on the floor um, like I said these photos are for my travel album and they're from a trip that my best friend and I took to Rome in September 2013 and I've actually scrapbooked all of my holiday photos before I've done little mini albums with them in like a smashbook style and I also have all of my favorite photos from my trips um, in my yearly albums but I really wanted a specific travel album that I could just pull out when people ask to see holiday photos um, I just thought that would be better than having them like only in my personal yearly albums because that's the sort of thing I only want to share with close family I don't really want um you know just sort of like family friends or um sometimes even friends in general looking through my project life albums so as you can see I've kept it really simple so far um there's a lot to fit into this album and I'm trying to keep the embellishments as minimal as possible while still looking nice um, it does mean that I'm not massively happy with some of my pages, but that's okay. Um, I'm just using a lot of labels to put little descriptions of things on the photos because I'm trying to um, fit as many photos onto a page as possible. And um, like you see here, I'm putting stickers directly onto the photo. And I really like how this card turns out, actually. Those go uh, gold words, I think they're from Studio Calico, and then these multicoloured ones... I'm, they might be Studio Calico as well, you know, but I'm not 100% sure. They came in the January Gossamer Blue Life Pages kit. So these photos, like I said, were taken in Rome and they were when my best friend and I went to see the Colosseum. We didn't realise it when we booked the hotel we stayed in, but it was actually like a two minute walk from the Colosseum, like straight down the road and you could see it from the hotel. So that was pretty cool. And this photo I'm embellishing at the moment um, is of the hill next to the Colosseum. And despite the fact that I did two years of ancient history at college, I now can't remember what that hill is even called. But um, there's a lot of other really pretty architecture, like really pretty buildings on that hill. So we went for a walk up there as well. And these photos are of me sitting on the wall opposite the Colosseum because it was so hot in Rome it was like 35 degrees celsius and I know that's not hot to a lot of people especially those of you who'll be watching from America but for an English person like me who has very fair skin that weather is just not okay so I've slowed the video down so you can see the photos a bit closer because I've sped this video up four times again so you can see my whole process because lots of people said they liked that last time. Sorry if my voice is really croaky by the way guys, I feel like I'm always apologising for my voice in these videos but when you're talking to yourself for quite a while like your voice can get a bit monotonous and it's quite late at night anyway so I feel like my voice is really croaky and blare. So I can't remember what those stickers are called, I'm really sorry, but I'm just using them to write day three on that photo because these were taken on day three of the trip. At least I think they were anyway, in all honesty I can't properly remember. So I'm just sticking those photos together and trimming them down like I always do. This is just a random photo of um, like some of the buildings in Rome. I'm pretty sure they were just like apartments, like flats. Um, but even the flats in the rougher parts of Rome were like beautiful to me. I thought the whole city was beautiful. So this card um, again came in the Gossamer Blue Life Pages kit for January but I think it actually came in the main add-on um, and it says free on it with an origami bird so it's kind of like free as a bird and I'm using that to do a little bit of journaling around the edge about that seagull um, in the photo next to it because that seagull was sat on the Trevi Fountain every single day and we're pretty sure it was the same one um, because it looked exactly the same and it was always sat in the same spot and we saw it every day because we went to the Trevi Fountain every day mainly um, in the morning and in the evening we would go um, it was our favourite our favourite attraction in all of Rome 
as you can see by that wood veneer at the bottom that says favourite on it <laughs> of me posing next to the fountain. There's more fountain photos, this time they were taken at night. Um, I don't know if you've ever been to Rome but there's a lot of street vendors. There's a lot of street vendors in a lot of um, European countries and elsewhere I'm sure but every single time you sit down at the fountain people come and try and get you to pay them to take your photo and um, obviously we always said no but this time a guy came up to us and was like oh I'll take it like for free and I really didn't want to give him my camera but I risked it and he did actually take really nice photos of us um, with the fountain all lit up in the background so <laughs> it was worth it but I wouldn't recommend just giving your camera to a stranger in a foreign country. <laughs> All of these bits I'm using now um, are from the Chamel Starshine collection, um, those stickers and the ephemera I used, and then the little stars are from Fancy Pants, and they came in the February Gossamer Blue Life Pages kit. I'm using another one of these labels, um, I think I just write like the Trevi by Night or something like that. Um, I love these labels so much. Again, they came in a Gossamer Blue kit and they're like one of the best things I've ever got in a kit um, from them. I love them. They came in all different shapes and I've been using them on pretty much every project I do at the moment. I'm really worried I'm going to run out because I don't have much left. I'm going to have to see if I can get more. So I'm just using a little cork camera and a wood veneer arrow to decorate this simple journaling card and then I'm going to write a little bit about um, everything in these photos so I think I write a little bit about going to the Trevi Fountain at night and how it was all lit up and then I write about um, the other photos in the spread which were from Piazza Navona which is a really really pretty um, like market square and there was a shop there that did like the best gelato we'd had the whole time we were in Rome it was so good I think I had like raspberry and mango or like raspberry and peach or something like that and it was so good um, and the buildings were so pretty I remember we just sat there on those steps um well not even on the steps I think it was like on a curb we sat there for ages just like eating our ice cream and people watching and it was just so interesting um I don't know if you enjoy doing that but I love just like sitting and watching people like me and my mum do it all the time if we go for coffee or if we go out for dinner my mum and I just sit and watch everyone else like half the time we don't even talk to each other we just like watch people go by and then <laughs> when we do talk to talk to each other we like speculate about what their lives might be like and what they're doing <laughs> so this card I'm putting wow on with those starshine thickers um, because that is the Pantheon and it is amazing. Um, when you come up against the Pantheon, it's kind of like you're walking through these really narrow, typical Rome streets and then all of a sudden the Pantheon just like looms out of nowhere. It's amazing. Um, so wow is definitely the right word to use. So my camera cut out after that, but thankfully it was on the last card. So I've again just slowed the video down so that you can see the cards properly close up and you really didn't miss much don't worry I literally just stuck um, a sticker and some enamel dots on that last little instax photo and I moved it down because I'm not sure why but I stuck it like right up in the edge of the photo so I moved that down and it looks a lot better I think so I hope you enjoyed this process video and there'll be more soon bye guys <laughs>